Alright, well, can definitely do better in Wharf Districts. Everything else went pretty well. In Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. The Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it point in the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity, that a survivor. No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. Gotta hold her still to spin up the chamber. A school of squirts tunnels up around them. 48, alright. That's good. <clears throat> he sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him forced drinking dead. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. The security takes him for a petty thief. Special delivery. Gas fellas. Windbags start turning up for last call. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. One fifty one. All right. So we're a little ahead. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. And then, ah. he falls to his death. Too late. I'm just fooling. Good news is the emergency oh. defenses still work. Jeez. Bad news is they aiming for the kid. He finds the distillery, right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. One sip of the spirits in that distillery. And the kid'll feel like a new man. The arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. An old ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. the city's heart. Might as well. Split well, down he goes. Down towards the bastion. Good. Now the kid four. sees something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. And just like that, the bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. Kid don't know what's out there waiting for him. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets, but which one? And there it is, but it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. A blustery old foreman is keeping his fellas in check, almost like he's showboating for the crowd. And now there's a new marshal in town. He hears the whole place groan, but it's too tough to fall. 
still ahead, but mm, I could have saved some He time. comes back, oh. just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack, the monuments calling for it. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. The cores, they remember. That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be all right. Kid ponders what to build. We track down a couple more cores near the edge of the city. The dead welcome him with open arms. The calamity took everybody after all. Kid sees it plain, frozen faces all around. These folks never saw the calamity coming, but someone did. Someone close. It was someone like him. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. He ain't about to stop, no matter what. He's got so many questions after all. The Thunder Brothers didn't make it. Nor did the Bird Boy didn't make it. The Jawsons. They didn't make it. Ah, oh, come on. Just think, without that man, we wouldn't be here right now, would we? But him, he survived. What do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid hasn't a clue, but he says this. He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. Zolf's travels ain't much compared to what the kids had to go through for all this. Kid's surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. There's only one way in the Cinder Brick Fort. The hard way. Sure, the city marshals may be gone. But now the fort's crawling with windbags. The calamity was mercy for normal folks. At least the marshals left the kid a parting gift. Something the windbags just can't handle. Something that'll punch clean through their greasy hides. Windbags ain't much different from normal folks. All they want's a warm place to stay and a decent meal. Cinderbrick gave him enough heat and metal to munch on for a while, but the fort ain't theirs by right. Security's plane gone haywire. Windbags gummed up the works. Come on. They trapped the kid in the middle of the fort's parade grounds. The skyway's a welcome sight after all that. And now yes. ain't nothing left for nobody down at Cinderbrook Fort. Doing well, doing good. Just gotta keep on pace. Kid shows up just as Zolf's telling me about his own journey to the city. Seems the only thing the Calamity saved for Zolf was that Zolf banged up the monument pretty bad. That's it. A few more shots like that, and we'll be back in business. But there's a way to put it back together. The shards. The city tried to use the shards to stake out the wild. So much for that plan. Ankle gators used to roam the wilds, and they nested at Rothus Lagoon. Many a tale folks used to scare their children straight originated here. Even the brushers learned to fear this place. They used to think that ankle gators were extinct. Well, 
They ain't. Turns out Queen Anne got a hold of a shard. Ankle gators love shiny things. The brushers use their pipes to keep their distance around here. Now the kid can do the same. Queenie leads the kid into some kind of twisted trap. The closer you get to an ankle gator's lair, the thicker the tall grass grows. One bad step in that tall grass and he's Queen Anne's lunch. Wanna know how to find an ankle gator lair? You use a kid as bait. The shard sitting in plain view. Now she's coming for him. She's got nowhere else to go. She's starting to get annoyed. After all that, kid lets the ankle get a go. Cycle. Not great. If I had gotten three, it would have been probably closer to a second saved. Hope Queen Anne don't mind us borrowing from her treasury. All that trouble for a single shard. But you know what? It was worth it. Caldron shouldn't be a problem, it's just getting the quarries. It ain't the... too late to unlock the potential of this place. We need an awful big lost and found under the circumstances. The bastion ain't gonna build itself. Well, not entirely. Not everything blew up in the Calamity. Why Colford Cauldron here blew up way ahead of its time. The cauldron boiled over some 300 years ago. They say it filled the skies with ash and the lakes with molten rock. If you wanted to survive something like that, you had to learn to adapt. It takes a certain stubborn pride to keep on living in a place like this. As for us, we learned an awful lot from Colford Cauldron. Sure, we dusted off a good many secrets out here, but we discovered other things we're better off not knowing. All sorts of awful things crawling underfoot. Best to keep out of the cauldron. Place is inhospitable as they come. After all, when we look down inside Colford Cauldron, Look down through all the smoke and flames. We saw in there the heart of the world. The heart now laid bare by the calamity. As for the kid, he just has to get that shard out of there. Too bad taking that thing woke up every last stink eye from here to Jawson Bog. Pops open on him like a pimple on a school day. Biggest stink eye he's ever seen is waiting for him on the other side. And where there's one stink eye, there's always more. Oh, the cauldron's tenants all gather up to bid the kid a fond farewell. With a he comes back looking like the inside of a chimney. Whoa, whoa. The shard works like a charm. You can hear the monument's heartbeat again. The monument's getting better. Zolf sure did a number on it, though. Ain't saying much, but that's the greatest forge in all the city. High time we built something new. Alright, gotta get that first lunky drop. <laughs> Imagine everything you'd need to build a city like Ceylandia. It takes hard work and planning, and it also takes burstone quarry. Rattletails ain't the worst of it either, but more about that in a little bit. Windbags smaller than the naked eye can see are nesting in those rocks. Not only are these rocks a source of life, we found that the oldest ones remember things. They're recording everything, all the time, taking it all in. Keeping the quarry free from pests turned out to be a problem. Now why would the Ura sell off such a fascinating place? Might be the gods told him the quarry's bad news. Those rocks, all polished to a mirror sheen, the largest ones you know as cores. Remember how I said Rattletails ain't the worst thing in the quarry? That honor goes to a beast we took to Colin, Sir Lunky. Massive things stomp many of our boys. We just couldn't get rid of him. The only thing harder than the rocks in Burstone Glory 
Miss Sir Monkey's head. We never could get stubborn old Monkey to leave the quarry alone. Then the kid hears a voice calling from down the hall. Are you all right? Oh my it gosh, says. what? I've come to warn you, he says. We talk for a spell. Kid hears him, but he ain't about to be deterred. If that's the way it is, he says, then I won't stop you. Because my countrymen will. If I had gotten the first cycle lunky, it would have been even better. It would be about 15 seconds better, probably. Say what you will about Zolf, but he's a man of his word. It's a lesson for you, kids. Stick with it. His countrymen don't better. much care for pleasantries, though. The Hura think they got him. They're wrong. No way out of this. Not without a fight. Zolf showed him the way here. And here they... The shards can put this disease in remission. But there's only one cure. We need to finish what we started. The Bastion. It's finally finished. Now, there's something I want you to see. Welcome to the heart of the Bastion. I ain't one for long goodbyes, so here's the deal. Zia and I figure you've done the heavy lifting, so you get to do the honors. We can tell you how to work this thing if you got any questions. You made it. Hey, kid. 